Okay, interesting. Right. Five, four, three, oh shit! Two, one. Starting round one. Another thing that bothers me. People think that Renegade and Paragon are the same as evil and good. They're not. I mean, and especially sometimes when players will do everything they can to avoid taking a renegade response to anything, up to and including avoiding taking renegade interrupts for no gosh darn reason, ever, really, other than because it's bad. Really, that bugs me. And this one-sided interpretation of Paragon and Renegade is really too gray and white. Paragon and Renegade is actually very nuanced. Both have interesting elements to it. Paragon includes a lot of uh, cynicism, for example. Or realism, depending on how you look at things. Whereas the Paragon ones are probably pretty optimistic or naive, again, depending on how you look at it. The Paragon are pretty more tolerant, but than the Renegade, but that is itself is not necessarily a positive trait, but depends on what you tolerate. And really, you should always take a chance to investigate and, and you know, really think about the options. And not just reaction and be no Renegade. But that really bugs me when I see that. Where are they? Oh. Over there. And it can really sour a let's play. If somebody's just like, nope, not gonna do Renegade because... Duh -huh. But what's worse is those who spread this misconception. Seriously, you guys are not helping. And I don't know who those particular people are, but I've seen in the comments of people like, Oh, don't take Renegade, or don't take the lower bottom options, they're Renegade options, and something like that. And it can really... It's wrong, okay? It's simplification, and it's because people simplify it to the classic good-evil uh, alignment system. But that's not what they run with here. It's actually pretty nu nuanced. What the frying fuck are you? And why were you bothering me? What are those? Okay, I I I, I don't know what they are, but they're annoying. It's annoying how they won't just come out and let me kill them. Okay. Hmm. This match brought to you by the Citadel Department of Tourism. Experience history being made. Interesting. Right. Let's try getting some bronze prizes. That's what those are all about.
Oh! Well, this is something. Oh, hey, I can get Jack! Grunt! Wow, okay, okay! This, this is interesting, this is interesting! Alright, alright! This is something. Marlevon works in finances. What does he know about combat? You sell model ships to tourists. Besides, the guy's smart. Yet lots of people are smart. Doesn't mean that the next match will be starting soon. Do you see his good luck here? to the competitors? I'm really surprised he won. Gear's not that important if the player's good enough. I mean, I could beat Marlevon like this. Really? Willing to put some money on it? Yes. Rag machines. Come on, that was cosmic. That's not like seeing you on the wall screen with people throwing corn chips and booing every time a gift makes a hit. As mentioned, our engineering club went to town trying to make a mod for you. Enjoy. Dear Wall Channel, Anti President, CU Engineering Club. P.S. Since everybody else asks Anti President, just to tell me the case we're not terrible serious around here. Come to think of it, maybe you should test that mod before trusting your life to it. The thought SMG Power Magnifier. Well, the thought is appreciated. Spin zone. Mm. The next match will Let's be starting soon. Good luck to the competitors. Right. Okay, last round. Keeping the stuff from the last game, that's... Well, I know he did, but still, it's nice to see. Now, another thing I want to complain about now that I'm here is the music. Now, I actually like the Mass Effect 3 music. I like the music in all the games, really. But here's the annoying thing. And this is something that keeps coming up. See, the way the music is organized means that you don't really hear a track as much as you hear a spit of a track that then gets played uh, if it's appropriate for the situation. Um, that can be pretty annoying in of itself, but fine, fine. I understand. What are you trying to do here? Cinematic moments and all that? That's fine. Now here's the annoying thing when you try to listen to the soundtrack of the game. Because of this, the way it's organized, the damn thing can't stick to a theme. Like, if I want to hear the Mars theme from the third game, which I really like, I really like some sections of it. You know what? It's a mix of hectic combat themes and less hectic, peaceful, walking about themes. Now, what if I just want to hear one of those three? What if I'm just in the mood for some pul pun uh, pulse pounding music? Huh? You ever thought of that? That's really annoying. Especially because that means I'm practically unable to remember the music. That may sound silly, but I can remember I can remember sound bits from the music. And that's really annoying. Look, I can remember the Final Fantasy VII boss theme in its completeness inside my head. I can remember themes from the Amiga games. But the Mass Effect, I can remember like a few sound bits that just place the same over and over. And that's really annoying. The least they could do when making the soundtrack is to mix it so the things fit together thematically. Why is that so much? Why is that too much to ask? It shouldn't be. It 
it's a simple request, really. All other th games can do that. Well, maybe not all of them. But it's a thing that really bugs me, especially when I'm trying to listen to the soundtrack. I have to listen to fan mixes of themes. And then you can't even get all the music. Like the... Because of this, there's like some bits that are left out. That's annoying. Like, the fans have to sue together in the end before I can get the combat theme that plays for uh, the Fatali missions in Mass Effect 2. Oh, this has been fun. But I probably gotta move on. I might play this in my free time, or I can play more if you guys really want to see it. You know, for now, I should probably just... Get this thing over here. Could be fun. So he, and let's get the grunt. Why not? But yeah, that's fun. Oh, huh. I'm moving up there. Oh, <laughs> Arya's in here, and Bray, Balavon, Bailey. Huh, interesting. But in case, if you want to see more of this, tell me because I can do that. But for now, I'm moving on. Right, so it's this game over here that really fucked me. New player, me, new player. You play easy. Find lady. Pretty queen. Follow lady. Well. I'm wondering if they aren't cheating. Huh. Blasto. That was fun. Okay, let's look around. I know. Oh, do I know. Remember when I played Mass Effect multiplayer? Random groups never good. Heck, that goes for other games. So, can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the lead. He brings a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye for talent. I would pay to see Macbeth with a Krogan. Where the hell am I even going? Castle Arcade. I'm sure why not. How to play? Target enemies at the end of the screen. Keep watching all the ships on the road to get to the Okay, let's try.
Thank you. Enemies approaching. So I notice. Tower of Hanoi. Tower of Hanoi. I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's the game in the first Mass Effect that no one can figure out. Seriously, how does nobody knows about Tower of Hanoi anymore? I mean, I only seen two people actually do it, and one of them was me. And the other, I didn't actually see her do it. She skipped that part trying to figure it out. <laughs> uh, we'll talk just a moment, just taking a look around. Yeah, you know what? Let's wait for Trainer. <laughs> 